All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, today is going to be a shop day, and I'm very happy to finally be back in the shop. No hay to bale, nothing to spray, nothing to worry about now. Um, it is uh, like 68 degrees, very cool. Um, and this rain, uh, we're under a flood advisory. We are supposed to get like five, six days of nothing but rain, 80% chance or above. So today in the shop, uh, I'm going to put this uh, step kit on that I had showed in a previous video. So uh, let's get into it here. All right, so the first thing for removing these steps, and it is common to have to take your steps off uh, when you're <laughs> working as a mechanic in the shop because to get your TA section out of here, uh, you used to take the steps off as well as the battery trays on both sides. Um, reason we took the steps off was you had to put a prop under here to hold the cab up. Uh, when you took your TA out, you had to take this cab mount off uh, completely and with the steps being on here, uh, especially if you were working on a uh, 86 series that had the saddle tank, like a 1086, uh, you had to take that saddle tank off and take it right out. Um, luckily this doesn't have a saddle tank, but um, it's not a major thing to get these steps off. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's just four bolts. One, two, and then in here, three, four. And then it is bolted to the uh, battery tray as well here in the front. So I'm gonna take these four bolts out and uh, see if I can't get these this old staircase off. All right, guys, uh, I got it off. Uh, you can see kind of the dirt that built up in here, uh, some of the corrosion, um, and that doesn't look very good. Yeah, there's still, still enough meat there to put the new steps on it just kind of is what it is when you're not the first owner or something it's what happens but i can see now why this uh, stair these stairs were bent um right there the uh, weld is ripped it looks like it carries on up through here so that's why it's crooked so if i was uh, going to i could easily hammer this straight again and re-weld it the problem is this part here on the back um, there's not much metal left there. It's all corroded. So granted, yes, you could get a piece of steel in here and uh, fix it, but uh, I'm not... Uh, <laughs> that's the, that staircase is going to be so much better than this. It's such an improvement. I did break a bolt off in here, uh, getting it off from the rust, but it's all right. We don't, uh, we're not going to reuse this. We're just going to set it aside and uh, save it for future projects if I ever need a step. So I'm going to get a scraper and clean this up really well, really nice. Uh, maybe spray it up with some oil and diesel or uh, sand it down, prime and paint it. I'm not sure yet. Let me, uh, let me check this out. Let me get scraping and see what I'm working with. All right, guys, uh, I have the steps off. You saw that in the last clip. Uh, you'll notice I had to break out the hydraulic bottle jack. Uh, that is not because this uh, uh, adapter plate is uh, wrong or welded wrong. Um, all this on this side of my cab is bent. Um, I'm thinking that uh, step got tore, the old one, from hitting something, and it has things pushed and twisted, so... I just used my bottle jack and a block of wood and I was able to push it up and get the uh, four bolts started. So on the outside here, you're gonna use these carriage bolts. They go all the way through on the inside on each side. In here are the bolts I had a hard time getting lined up. Uh, th those thread into the cab itself. So those threads, those bolts did come out so I was able to reuse them. I just put some anti-seize on everything. Uh, now I'm gonna let the pressure off of the hydraulic jack and tighten these up because this is away here. It has to be pulled in tight here. All the holes are slotted. Uh, they provide all the hardware. So, so far everything looks like it's working out okay. So let me tighten this bracket up and uh, we'll move on to the next step. All right guys, and it started raining here and it's going to for the next couple days. So anyway, uh, I left you guys, I have the bracket on. One thing I noticed with this kit is all of the hardware is uh, SAE. It is not, there's no metric, there's no metric hardware in this kit, so you won't need any metric tools. Um, all right, so the staircase, um, I did assemble some here in between. You can see it's a matter of just two carriage bolts through the holes here, and you can adjust this uh, third step up even higher if you want it. I made them all the same diameter, so it's uh, four carriage bolts that go through this uh, 
go through this. I did not tighten them yet, but I did want to assemble it before I stick it on the tractor. So putting it on the tractor, it couldn't be simpler. This kit I'm very happy with. It was expensive, but it is nice and nice equals expensive. So <laughs> um, there's a real heavy duty steel uh, tongue here light that goes in that slides in there like that. Okay, so there's two sets of holes in this. Um, I can't use the inner holes because you see how close it is to the tire. Um, so I don't want to do that. So the outer holes are the ones I'm going to use. So this attaches to the tractor with these large bolts. You go in there. Let me, let me come back with you. I'll turn my light on. All right, so these bolts here. I think I caught it. Yeah, there's a hole. There's only one hole. Yep, it's through. Okay. There's only one hole in that bracket that goes through your steps, and that is great. I was wondering why there's only one. They give you two bolts and two holes. The other one just goes in between this uh, bracket here. And the reason for that, I'm thinking, is one nice feature about this staircase. Is you can turn it you can have it flared out that way you can put it right straight with the tractor um, if you're worried about clearance with your tires if you have 20 38s I don't know if they'd be any they, or, or tires with more tread on them um, you might have to tip this I mean this will pivot pretty far if you want to get it away if you're if you're worried about clearance with the tire you can have it right there so getting in and out it's a little bit tough on this tractor uh, having it that far of an angle so I'm not going to angle it quite that hard but maybe there just at a slight angle so you see the steps are a little bit tipped this way and that's fine the uh, you have to tighten this up you see the uh, See the gap there? Once you draw these bolts tight, it will level, I'm pretty sure. So uh, let me put some anti-seize on these. Uh, there are no lock nuts either. Um, they have these uh, serrated nuts, which is fine with me. Uh, the only thing I had to add were the washers because uh, the original ones had these big flat washers and with the slotted holes, I did want to uh, have those washers. Out here with the carriage bolts, you don't need any type of washers and we have these tightened down pretty good. So let me uh, snug these bolts up and tighten the steps up. See if I like the, the angle of everything. I'll crawl up and down it a few times and I'll come back with you. So, so far I like this. This is uh, pretty darn nice. All right guys, back with you here. Uh, the only problem I'm having with this uh, kit so far is the bolts that they provide. These here are the bolts that have to come up and secure your battery box to the steps. Uh, the, they aren't long enough for my tractor. Um, mainly, I think this is all just, uh, it got bent, I think, when uh, the steps got hit. So everything is just a little bit off. You can see I used uh, one of the old bolts. I put some anti-seize on and I was able to use one of the new uh, nuts that they provide in the kit just because everything is SAE. Um, so I have to get this front one lined up. Now, this is an easy thing. These little, uh, it's like an L-shaped bracket. Um, they are on slides both side to side and up and down. So you can basically position this right where uh, it needs to go. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this one So let me work at it. It's the final step. I just have one bolt to put in yet and the uh, Stair kit here is complete All right guys, it's on uh, now. I do realize there is a different variation of this stair kit. Uh, it doesn't have this uh, Open space here. It basically bolts flat and then it's just a staircase that comes down uh, The reason I didn't go with it even though it was cheaper is it didn't seem I bought it just because of that nice swivel feature that you can angle these steps any which way with this kit Versus the other one which is bolted right fast and comes straight down uh, I was a little worried about tire clearance, especially if I do get new tires on this tractor I didn't want it to rub the new tires Because um, <clears throat> my uh, wheels are set out pretty far on this tractor. So I went with this one um, one other option and I'm not sure yet if I'm going to get it I'm gonna think about it is you'll notice this here 
with these two holes, there is a railing. There's a railing that bolts to here, comes up, and then you lag it up into there. Um, it's an extra grab handle when you're getting up and down from the tractor. Let me move some of my tools, and I wasn't up it yet, so this will be live here for, uh, <laughs> live in the video for YouTube. I didn't test it yet, so um, it's not too bad. So the first step, and I'm not sure, let me look here. Uh, we'll be real scientific here. Get my tape measure. And we're going to measure. Bear with me, one hand operation here. Let's get this out here. A little more. All right, so from the ground to the step, I have it set at uh, 19 and three quarters. So let's see how that compares to the OEM step on this side. This side does look a little lower. No, 21 inches. So it's down a little bit lower than the OEM step, uh, which will be a little bit nice. It, it is as low as you can get. I think they do offer another step. Don't quote me on it, um, but that's enough. You still need ground clearance. So let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> no problems. <laughs> Didn't hit my elbow. Of course, I, like I say, I don't have doors on this tractor. Um, let's see how it is getting down. Oh, I gotta remember it's in a different spot. I'm used to it being, oh yeah. That is nice. Okay, so let's say I need to carry something up in the cab. Let me, <laughs> we're gonna do some testing. All right, so this hand, one hand has the camera. This hand has tools because you never know, you might be carrying stuff up and down from the cab. Let's see if I can go up without grabbing anything. Oh yeah. <laughs> no hands required for a young guy anyway. So, very happy with this kit. Uh, if you have an 86 series and you're getting up there in age, um, that stair kit is great. Uh, that handrail, I don't know if it's gonna be necessary just yet. I have to see what it costs. I think it was 60 bucks. If it is 60, then we're gonna let it go. Um, but I think, I can't remember if it was 60 or 40. If it's 40, I'm not real worried about buying it. But, so this tractor is a little bit easier. <laughs> I, I was very entertained by John Stevens' video, IH versus John Deere with the 86 series cabs. Uh, I understand it, but they do make, if you are a diehard international guy and the cabs bother you on the 86 series with the door going the wrong way, uh, All States does a offer a door cylinder kit, like a, a gas piston shock absorber uh, that when you open the door, it's like the Magnums that it, it opens and there's gas to hold it open. It doesn't collapse and hit you in the rear end on the way up the steps or bump your elbow. Um, it would be, if I had doors on this cab, that's probably one thing I would get. Um, if you have, I just got to remember now, I'm walking out instead of straight up. Um, so yeah, they have a cylinder kit that goes on the top to help. Uh, they do have an interior grab handle. If you don't like this one, they have one that goes the whole length. Uh, you can put outside grab handles on. And you know, I saw a 1086 that was a custom job. It was on Tractor House. And the guys that redid it, they showed pictures uh, in the pictures for sale of this 1086. And what they did, they showed the restoration through all the pictures. There was like 80 pictures. They had the cab off the tractor. They showed every step that they did to restore the thing. They put a door on one of these from a Magnum and they have it opening out <laughs> the way a tractor door should open. Um, I was very interested in that, uh, <laughs> what they did there. They got a Magnum door and put hinges on this side and put the cylinder, they did a great job. Once the door was shut, uh, it just looked amazing. Uh, they just did it for this side, of course, because the Magnum only has one door, but this is the side I go up and down the most. Uh, very interesting uh, build that somebody did. As I say, people are pretty darn creative out there to fix a problem, but I'm happy with this step kit. This is nice. Highly recommend it. It is almost $260. But if you're up and down, up and down, up and down, crawling up a ladder like this, <laughs> almost straight up in the air with little steps, 
Now, granted, if you have an 86 series that has the wider steps, uh, they do have them in some tractors that the steps are longer. It's not as bad of an issue, but these are the economy cheapest steps they put on these tractors, and it's just not a pleasant experience. So you can, <coughs> excuse me, you can get your foot on there. It has the metal is cut out so that you don't slip. I don't think my foot would, that's pretty solid. And I can come up here now without grabbing any of these handles. So, very nice, very happy with it. Uh, it still does look like it's pitched forward a little bit and that has nothing to do with this step kit. This has to do with my cab being a little bit rusty and bent and stuff. So the fit might be a little different for your tractor. So anyway, it's a K&M manufacturing from Red Mill, Renville, Minnesota. I have no idea where that is, but uh, it's uh, all made in America, standard hardware. Um, I only have about, well, with the filming, I have about 45 minutes. If I wasn't filming and uh, setting things up to do a step-by-step, -step, probably you could put this on in a half an hour. So they do offer one for both sides. And for now, I think we're just going to let that see how the harvest goes, see what kind of money I want to put into this tractor. I do want to get this tractor uh, a little bit nicer than it is. It's got some leaks. It needs tires. Uh, needs a windshield, needs some restoration work yet, some painting, and uh, we'll keep working at it. So, But we're not going to get into that right now because I have to finish painting the 395, and I'm going to attempt to do that during all this uh, bad weather. So the 395 is next on my list to finish the paint job. Once that's painted and the paint's drying, we're going to move on to the Farmall 560 and get that fuel issue addressed. Once that's done... We're going to look at painting this hay rake and maybe the International 45 Vibershank. If I can get those two painted and it's still not time to make hay, we're going to get some new Holland Red and we're going to paint this. So I am very happy now that this is the time of the year that I can work in the shop and be under absolutely no stress uh, for trying to get stuff done in the field. Uh, the crops can grow now. It's a very nice time of the year. From the end of July to the end of August, it's great. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for coming along. Anybody has any questions, let me know.